Hello everyone and welcome to Julie's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making one of my family's favorites, which is, which is baked chicken with peppers and potatoes and Italian seasoning. So let's get started so I can show you. So here I already prepped my peppers and potatoes and we like a lot, so I made a lot. I just sliced them all up, so I'm just going to mix them up here a little bit. And I'd say that it was probably maybe six or seven potatoes and these were, the peppers were kind of small so there was maybe about five or six. Use however many you want. This recipe, there's really not measurements. I kind of like just, I made it so much I just kind of dump. So it's really make it to your taste in terms of seasoning and everything. So I'm going to start off and I'm just put olive oil and I want enough to coat the vegetables. This way when I put the seasoning to, on it that everything will stick to it. Let's get this a stir to see how it is, if I need to put more olive oil on it. Okay, that's good. I don't want to overdo it too much, just enough so I can the seasoning will stick to it because I am going to pour, fry these a little bit. Okay, so there we go. So let's start off with salt. And I'm just gonna give it a liberal sprinkle here. And pepper, this is black pepper. And I'm gonna use Italian's blend of seasoning. And the sprinkle there. And what I like to do is when you get your dried um, seasoning like this, if you take and you rub it between your hands, you crush it, it actually releases more of the oil and the flavor. So your seasoning will have more flavor to it. So, so that was my Italian blend of seasoning. And I like to just add just like a little more parsley to it. So I'm just gonna put a little parsley here and do the same thing. Just kind of rub it between your hands. That releases all the oil. Now I'm going to stir it all up. You just want to see that everything looks like it's got seasoning on it, coated. And that's looking good. So I'm just going to stop it right there. And I'm going to get everything set up for the next step. And we'll be right back to show you. All right. So we're back. And I have my chicken in two pans because I'm going to put a lot of vegetables on, allow some room. Sprayed my pans, and I just want to season my chicken. So let's do a little salt. Pepper. I'm using here chicken legs and chicken thighs. I've made it with a whole chicken cut up. Whatever pieces you like, you could really do. I'm just gonna put a little olive oil on them. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of light Italian seasoning. I don't wanna to do too much because you do have some on the potatoes and the peppers, so. Just wanna do enough to give them a little flavor too. I also have some pieces of garlic here that I'm just gonna throw in the bottom of the pan. This way it's gonna roast, bake with the chicken and the vegetables. And that gives it some flavor and we happen to like roasted garlic like that. Okay, so the pan is heated up. So now I add a little olive oil and now I'm gonna add some of my vegetables. do this in a couple of batches so you don't want to overcrowd the pan too much. Alright, we 
just you can smell this. Right now you smell the peppers and all the Italian seasoning and the olive oil permeating the room here. Alright, so you see how these are getting a little brown. So I'm going to take them out now because I don't want them to fully cook. I want them to lay the cook in the oven, but I just want them to get a little bit of start in the skillet. Kind of release those flavors and everything. So I'm going to add these. I'm going to pass my chicken. Okay. And I'm going to add some more. Okay, so these are ready to come out. See how they're just lightly got a little char to them, a little browning. The skins on the, the peppers are a little blistered. That's all I'm looking for. Put them in the pan. Okay, that pan looks good. Let me put that in the oven. Let's get the last here done. I told you we like lots of peppers and onions, or peppers and potatoes. All right, so the vegetables are done, and we're going to put everything in the oven now. I have it set at 350, and we're going to give this at least 45 minutes. No, I'll check it after a half an hour, and then we'll go by there. Go. We'll check it after a half an hour and see how it com is coming along. So I'm going to set the timer, and we'll get back with you when we check it. Been in there a half an hour, so we're gonna give this another 15 20 minutes because I want the chicken to brown. I'm gonna just stir it around a bit. Okay, so we're gonna check in about 15 20 minutes to see how it's coming along. All right, so now we're gonna check the chicken has actually been in there for an additional half an hour, so probably total almost an hour. So let's check it and see how it's doing. Oh, yeah, it's definitely ready to come out. Hello everyone. So, well, here we are. I have the chicken and the peppers and potatoes out. So we had, this was in the oven for an hour. So now it's cooled off a little bit. So now I'm gonna try it. So let's try the potatoes here. The pepper. Mmm. The peppers are nice and soft. And they just give you such a nice creaminess and sweetness to the potatoes. And potatoes, because we fried them a little bit, have a little bit of a crunchy on the outside and nice and tender mm, on the inside. You can really pick up the flavor from the the Italian seasoning and the peppers. Let's try some of the chicken here. So the skin has a nice crisp to it. Hmm. You can really taste the Italian seasoning on that. Mm. And the chicken is nice and tender and juicy. You know, the peppers and the potatoes really give it nice flavor. You can even taste that garlic that's in there that we threw in. It really helps permeate and flavor fold the meat, the really helps permeate the meal and give it nice flavor well i think you guys are going to really like this i hope somebody will try it leave in the comments below what you think i really would love to hear from you 
and we'll see you soon. Bye.